We're here today for the second annual gathering of the San Diego County Watershed Summit to really bring together community groups. We've got about 80 agencies, associations, uh, county officials, just real interested community leaders here today to really come together, share ideas on our 11 watersheds here in San Diego County, and just better the environment. sdg &E is hosting the Watershed Summit because we have over 4,400 employees who live, work, and play in San Diego, have family, friends, a connective thread to be focused on the environment and to have an impact on making it even better. Summit like this is really important because it, it brings together all the different people working on the wetlands, all the different people working on the watersheds, to have conversations about new ideas, innovative ways to get their work done, to collaborate, and that's not something you can do virtually. That's not something you can really do over email. You have to be in the room together. Somebody needs to convene it and make it happen. And sdg and &E is doing that, and that role is, is critical. It's the catalyst. I don't know about you, but I don't know everything. And so unless you know everything, you might as well collaborate and learn from others. It's an incredible opportunity to share your own ideas and learn from other people. And by doing so, we can do a better job. And that's what the summit's really about, is getting people together from various walks of life to learn about watersheds, how we can do a better job doing something we care about. We really have to think long term about where we're going to. Watersheds often are about the past. But really, when we talk about restoring a watershed or even a wetlands, it's about thinking to the future and what that will be. And, and um, some of the speakers today really spoke really well about, you can't just plan for a watershed of today, they've got to think about it for the future. I think the goal is to change the way people think about water in order to promote restoration and protection of, of healthy waterways. We don't get very far if we don't have water. We just dry up and die. So, every, so does everything else on the planet. So taking care of our water is really issue number one. We've gotten used to not thinking about it. We've gotten used to taking it for granted. And as a result, we find ourselves with a system that doesn't know how to conserve water, a physical system, but also a social system. And so that's where we are right now, figuring that out. It isn't just the commodification of water, but it's also the, the emotional benefits. It's also the social benefits. By changing the conversation around water to include all that I think we will value water more and take better care of it.